Power story, every falling star takes place in a country called North Korea. North Korea can be found right here in bordering China and South Korea. Our story takes place, our story begins in 1948 with the formation of North Korea. And, and this started in, in World War II when Japan claimed the, all of the Korean Peninsula. When the U.S. dropped the two atomic bombs, they withdrew from the war and all their colonies were into occupation. The Soviet Union soon took China, which led to the North Korea becoming a communist state. Now, this was prolonged by the Korean War. This is when the two sides of Korea wanted full power, which, after a long, drawn-out war, ended up with a new division of the country at the Demilitarized Zone or the DMZ Zone, or the DMZ. Along the 30th parallel, which, led, which was the original division of North and South, led to it, South, North Korea uh, saying that it was a communist state and having South Korea become a capitalist state. The DMZ is a highly militarized and restricted zone, and, is, and it is generally where the two sides meet. In 1991, this is the fall of the Soviet Union. December 26, 1991, the Soviet Union falls. Boris Yeltsin comes into power as a capitalist Russian leader, stops all economic aid to communist countries, and the North Korean famine begins, which we'll get into later. Economic aid happening here is Soviet supplying North Korea, supplying with regular shipments of supplies, food, oil, and materials for construction and basic life. Dependence on the Soviet Union aid increased, and then the Soviet Union fell, which led to the North Korean famine, which is the arduous march, the official North Korean name for it, which is when the which is which was the first rebellion that the people had against the new regime. Soviet Union imports ceased because of the fall of the Soviet Union. Economic mismanagement from being a new country because they were just, they were thrown off the boat and they had to be a new country and stable, which they were not, and still very unstable today. A series of droughts and floods ruined lands for farming. Failure of public distribution systems, so they led to communism, which had an already preset distribution system. This led to 250,000 deaths and 3.5 million people death, dead. It ended up with the United Nations Relief stepped in. In 1992, this, begin, this is where our story begins, with a little boy named Sung Yee lived in Pyongyang, which is the capital of North Korea. His father had a government job, maybe a military officer, but not for sure. Mother was a teacher. They live in Pyongyang, capital city. They went to his school every day. He was out of his class. He did Taekwondo, which is a Korean martial art. And they had a car and plenty of food, always. Sung Yoo Lee was top of his class, very active. Wanted to follow in the path of his government. Dreamed of being a military leader, class president. Sung Yoo had many luxuries people didn't have. Now, how does this relate to decolonization and all the in political powers? Uh, in, uh, in Japan... They they were taken over by the they were they were led by the leader, um they were led by their leader who who used him of the Allied power with the Central Powers sorry, and the, and people in North Korea said they liked everything because it was all new because it was just in, they were getting supplies for the past five years to become a solid communist state under the Soviet regime, and then that regime fell so the North Korea started its own communist regime regime. And everything in North Korea was new, but it was but it was low quality. They it looked good, but it was not structurally sound, and this ended up in many accidents happening. Soon, his family will be sent. To, three years after Kim Il Sung's death, his family was kicked out of Pyongyang. They went on a vacation, as his mother said, lived in a small concrete house and life in Ji, in Jiangsiangyog, which is right here. And in, in, uh, it's in um, Pyongyang is a little bit this way. Um, there, his family became more poor the, the more they were, they were there because um, they had to sell all, all their goods and able to live. They quit school. He quit school to find more food and started selling belongings for won or Korean money. The Kojibi is a train, Korean term for gang. Consisted of Sungyu, Chulo, Unsik, Youngchil, Singchil, Mingguk, and Youngbum. Youngbum and Mingchil will die to control political ideas and people. North Korea has Shengmu, or political and physical officers whose job it is to control people. One way to this is to control young kids and catch up from being political defectors. So this new era of political defectors is not right, does not come up in the regime. So they soon will go to a Shengmu camp and they'll be and they'll be sentenced for capital punishment um, for rebelling against the government and stealing from merchants. Sung Yu and his gang get stuck into one, as I just said. Making a deal with the guards to steal and get rewarded, they were very smart this way. They would make deals with the guards, and they would give the guards food and supplies. Eventually, they will escape and will continue to steal from vendors and merchants. 2000 and 2001, they will continue to steal. They will fight other gangster territories. They will suffer the loss of Youngbum, and will soon 
who was too denied from a fight, but the girl was in a small mourning period and was now having two brothers die, Myung Chil and Sung and Young Bum. They travel along the north the North Korean coast, the eastern North Korean coast, and go to port cities. They gain a lot of territory and have many gangs working under them. These are one of the weapons, these are sharp chopsticks, which can penetrate well and are and can be very sharp. Which leads us to the great escape. Sung will eventually escape to escape and the Ketchubi will separate. He was he will be smuggled into China and then go to an airport where he thinks he's flying to Hanguk but ends up in South Korea. Hanguk is in China. Sung Yi will then go to the United States as a political refugee. Now, to to tell the difference between the biggest difference between the US and North Korea is um how they are their G, their their stats. So how are they developed? Their development. So GD, GDP per capita in North Korea is seventeen hundred dollars US is fifty nine million dollars. North Korean GDP in total is thirty billion while the US is nineteen trillion dollars and those are USD for North Korea. Ten percent of North Koreans have a standard consistent income. Four point seven in the US do do not. So which means that ninety percent of people do not have a standard income. Below Below poverty line, North Korea not projected, but is not not known, but it's predicted to be under over 70%. And the U.S. has 13.5% of people under the poverty line. This is how North Korea is today.